Hey guys, welcome to another Theory of Computation tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to minimize a DFA using myhill Neroth theorem. So let's get started. So let's say we are given this DFA over here and we have to minimize it using myhill Neroth theorem. Now myhill Neroth theorem has four steps. First step is you draw a table for all pairs of states. Okay. So let's say we have got states like A and B. You draw a table for that. B and E over here. Then we have got B and C over here. Okay. B and C. Then we have got A and C. So basically all the pairs we are making, but we are not making pairs of state with the same state. That's why we are not marked this A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. And we are also not marked the states repeatedly. That is, if we have already marked it over here for B and A, we have made a table for this, then we don't need to make a table for B and A over here. That is, you don't need a table like this. That's why we have only got this half area over here. Okay. So this is the first step. You draw a table for all pair of states. Okay. Second step is mark all pairs where P belongs to final state and Q belongs to a non-final state. So let's do that second step now. So let's say, yeah. So we have got state A over here. Okay. And okay, we'll start from here. State B. Okay. Now is state B and state A a pair where one is a final state and one is a non-final state? Yes. A is a non-final state. B is a final state. So you can mark it. So let's mark it. All right. What about C and A. So C is a final state and A is a non-final state. So you can mark this also. Yes. What about C and B? Now both of them are final states. So we don't mark this. Okay. What about D and A? So D is a non-final state. A is also a non-final state. So you don't mark this. Okay. What about E? Uh, sorry. Yeah. D and B. So we have got D and B. Now D is a non-final state. B is a final state. So you mark this. Okay. Then comes D and C. Now D is a non-final state. C is a final state. So you mark this also. All right. Then we have got state E and A. Now E is a non-final state. A is also non-final state. So you don't mark this. Okay. Then we have got E and B. Now E is a non-final state. B is a final state. So you mark this. All right. What about E and C? E is a non-final state. C is a final state. So you mark this. What about E and D? Both of them are non-final states. So you don't mark it. What about F and A? F is a final state. A is a non-final state. So you mark this. All right. F and B, both of them are final states. So you don't mark it. F and C, both of them are final states. So you don't mark them. Okay. What about F and D? So F is a final state. D is a non-final state. So you mark this. All right. Okay. And we have got F and E. F is a final state. E is a non-final state. So you mark this. All right. So now we have done the second step. That is mark all pairs where P belongs to final state and Q belongs to non-final state. Okay. Now what about step three? So if there are any unmarked pairs P comma Q such that when you give an input of X, that is either zero or one, and it, it falls into the mark state, then you mark it as P. Uh, then you mark this P and Q where X is an input symbol. So let's look at an example. Okay. So let's say these are the unmarked ones. Now let's change the color. Uh, Let's say we'll use the red color. All right. Okay. Now we'll test it out for this C and B. Okay. Now let's see. So we have got C and B over here and we'll test out the inputs zero and one. Now, when you give input zero in state C, where do you go? You go to state E. Okay. And what about B? You get input zero. You go to state D. Now is E and D. Okay. Is E and D a pair of final and non-final state? No, both of them are non-final states. You do not mark it. What about one? So let's say you are in state C, you get input one, you go to state D. And in state B, you get input one, you go to state E. Okay. Now, are there the any, uh, is one final and non-final state? No, both of them are non-final states. So you don't mark this state over here. Okay. What about over here? State D and A. Now we'll test it out for D and A. D and A, you give input 0 and 1. Okay. So let's say in state D, you get input 0, you go to F. In state A, you get input 0, you go to B. F and B, both of them are final state. So you don't mark it. What about 1? So in state D, you get input 1, you go to F. In state A, you get input 1, you go to B. Sorry, you go to C. Both of them again are final states. So you don't mark this one also. All right. What about E and A? So let's say in state E and A, you get input zero. 
where do you go okay in state e you get input 0 you go to f in state a you get input 0 you go to b f and b both of them are final state so you don't mark it and in state e you get input 1 you go to f again and in state a you get input 1 you go to state c both of them are final states so you don't mark this also okay what about e and d so let's see here in state e and d you get input 0 okay what do you do you are in state e you get input 0 you go to state f in state d you get input 0 you go to state f okay and same thing applies for 1 you go to straight f only when you get input 1 so you don't mark it because both of them are going to the same state that is a final state okay so you don't mark this also now what about f and b okay f and b so let's say you're in straight f and b over here and you get input 0 where do you go from straight f you go to straight f itself and in straight b you get input 0 you go to straight d now is f and d a pair of states where one is final and one is non-final yes as you can see over here f is a final state and d is a non-final state so you mark this state okay you mark this state okay now next is you have to check for next one that is f and c over here correct so it in state f and c you get zero in straight f you get zero you go to straight f itself yes and in straight c you get input zero you go to straight e now is f e a pair of final and non-final states yes f is a final state e is a non-final state correct we'll test it out for you on one also just to confirm okay so you're in straight f okay you're in straight f you got you get input one you go to straight f and in state C, you get input 1, you go to state D. Correct? So you are going to again go to a pair of final and non final state. Same thing over here. You get input 1 over here in state F, you go to state F itself. And in state B, you get input 1, you go to state E. Okay? So you are going to a pair of final and non final state. That's why you have to mark this also. Alright. Now we'll go through all these states again because we have got two new marked states, right? So you have to go through all these states again to see if there are any new states that have their inputs marked okay for example over here again we'll go through c and b over here you get input 0 you go to state ed is state ed marked it's not marked yet correct then we have got over here d and a over here correct d and a when you get input 0 you go to state fb fb is fb marked over here fb is marked now yes so now we have to mark this state over here d and a yes okay then what about ea we have got E A over here. You get input 0, you go to F B. Is it marked? So you have to mark this one also. Yes. Okay. What about E D? So you are in straight E. You get in, uh, E and D. Uh, you are going to straight F F. Okay. So it is not marked. Okay. So now when you go through this again, you have to check for that. Again, you have got C B. You are going to go to straight E D. Is it marked? It's not marked. Okay. What about D A? You already marked this right and what about ea it is also marked okay now only one left is this one ed okay so now this is how we go through this mile near road theorem again and again until no more markings can be made now finally the step four is combine all unmarked pairs into a single state and then you have to construct the minimized dfa all right so the pairs of unmarked states are we have got over here cb that is c comma b and another one is ef sorry ed we have got e comma d so these are the unmarked pairs now we have to combine them and minimize the dfa okay so how do we do that so we have to combine these two states over here c and b into a single state and d and e into a single state all right okay now so let's try to draw it okay so first we have got starting state a over here okay so let's say this is our starting state a correct 
on getting input 0 and 1 it we have to combine b and c remember so on getting input 0 comma 1 you're going to go to a state that is final state and we'll call it bc okay on getting input either 0 on 1 it is going to state bc because we are combining it correct now over here or getting either input 0 or 1 it is going to state de we have to combine these two states into a single state okay so on getting input 0 or 1 it is going to go to a non-final state and it's a combined state of these two states d and e okay what about d and e on getting input 0 and 1 it is going to a final state f okay so on getting input 0 comma 1 it is going to go to final state f yes and in state f on getting input 0 and 1 it is going to itself all right so this is how we minimize a dfa that had 1 2 3 4 5 6 states into a dfa that has only 1 2 3 and 4 states okay so this is how we minimize a dfa using myhill neuro theorem i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you